everyone. Thanks for tuning in. On this episode, we're talking about everything from, from the turbo through to the intake. All right, so I've pulled the intake plenum off and now I'm just sort of measuring up. This is the old throttle body. I was just measuring up the holes to put the new Bosch throttle body on. Have a little couple ways to do it, but I think I'm going to do a, an adapter plate and have to clock that a little bit so then it, um, the bolts don't get in the way of each other down there. And I should be able to make that look pretty good. And then on the inside, I'll just have a nice machined lip. I'll sh show that when I do it. And it should be mint. So now that I've measured those up and that, I've actually had some brake clean on this and tidied it up, pulled the fuel rail off and really got in under there and given it a bit of a scrub out and made it look a whole lot better. So I'm pretty happy with that as well to start to do some of that work on this car. So here's the water jet part that my buddy Matt from AccuCut cut for me. I think it's 35 mil alloy. I set it up in the forge or lathe and machined a taper. So it tapers from the size of the throttle body down to the size of the intake plenum. It was reasonably easy to work this out because I just used SolidWorks and drew it out and worked out the angle. This part machined up quite nice. Uh, I also machined this O-ring groove into it. So the face that seals up against the throttle body is an o-ring and that means i can reuse it and it's quite a nice way i reckon of, of sealing the thing but uh, one thing that did happen was once i got home i wasn't really paying attention and i actually snapped a tap off in one of the holes so i was trying to get the tap out and then i ended up having to cut the whole sort of sides of the hole out and re-weld it back on and drill it and then polished it up and it actually you would hardly know unless you knew and the throttle body bolts up to it perfectly so i'm pretty happy Alrighty, now it's time to put this adapter that i've made onto the intake plenum now i was going to get my friend at work Ben to weld this on for me but the whole reason I'm doing this build is to try and upskill and learn new skills and you know give things a go so I've decided I'm just gonna give it a go myself I have the means here to do it so why not I need to weld this hole because I no longer need this and this map sensor ports I need so I'll leave them alone and try and keep the weld away from them. This tab here is going to get in the way for welding, so I'm going to chop it off. This here is the same. I no longer need it, so I'm going to whip that off. And that should be it. I'll tidy it all up and hopefully weld that on there like that. As you can see, if I hold it in the right spot, it matches up nicely on the inside, adapts out to the right size. But once it's welded on the outside, I'm probably going to come in and sand that join there just to make it flow as best as it could. Because why not when I'm in there? And yeah, then hopefully I can just bolt the throttle body on and this job will be done. had to put a lot of grunt into it, a lot of heat into it but it's come out pretty good it's definitely not perfect times but it's definitely going to be sealed and nice so pretty happy with that now I'm just letting it cool off I'll do a little bit of work on the inside here and then I can bolt the throttle body on should be good
we've got the turbo and the new throttle body on the intake plenum. It's now time to go and join the two together. So from the outlet of the turbo here and the throttle body up here should be not too hard, it's not too far, but we're adding in this water to air intercooler. Now, to fit it in, I've sort of realized that this thing is meant to sit back in here like this. But as you can see, my radiator hose is sort of holding it up a bit high. It'd be nice if it was sitting a whole lot lower. So I'm going to remove that pipe and I might have to weld a bend in that bit of alloy tube there. Um, I don't have one here, but I can easily get one and make that alteration. But for now, I think I'm just going to disconnect that hose and route it around it later. So instead of going straight out and along like that, if it went back and down and then straight along like parallel with the firewall and into the air, it would be much better. So I'll get that out of the way and then I can look more into how I'm going to mount this. So now that I had the water to air into place, I got these silicon hoses all at 45s and joining onto the sizes that I needed. A couple were tight, but I just put a little bit of lube on there and then they were fine. Once it was in place, from the throttle body to the water to air was just the silicon joiner. And all I needed was one stainless bend. I was going to use alloy, but I ended up just using stainless. One stainless bend and a little bit of straight just to get around one part. And it went on so easy. So I was real happy with having the charge pipe nice and short so then the boost should come on quite fast. Then I was able to make this simple bracket that just comes straight off up from where our gear linkages go and easily bolts into either side of the water to air. was really happy of how this fits in the space and looks like it should be there. And there we have it. So now we're all connected from here. There's just one bend there. The silicon joiner. Now we're all connected from here. There's just one bend there. The silicon joiners. The water to air is all mounted in. I've added a blow off valve on here as well, which is pretty funny because it's pointing straight at the passenger. Um, throttle body's all sorted. And I've gone on and put. One fitting here that goes to my boost solenoid and I've also got my intake air temperature sensor here which hasn't got the proper plug yet but that wiring will come later on that and it's good to go so cheers for tuning in the next one you might have noticed in the background some of those shots there's some interesting things going on and we're getting closer and closer to starting this thing so stay tuned we'll see you soon